Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to the Airburst Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. A little while ago, I did a video on how to troubleshoot your airbrush if it's not spraying correctly or if it's backing up, you know, a clog. But there's one thing I didn't cover because it's kind of rare. But I had a lot of people say, Dan, I did everything you said and my airbrush still isn't spraying right or I'm still getting bubbles in my cup. Now it is very rare of what I'm gonna be showing you in this video because paint should not be getting to the little holes in your air cap. But it is possible that they get clogged. I've had it happen to me once and I couldn't figure it out and this was my problem. So if you tried everything else, I'll pop a link up above for the troubleshooting video. But if you went through all of that and it's, your airbrush still isn't working properly, please check this out. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing, hit that bell so you get future notifications. Thumbs up would be great. Couple comments, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out all my Amazon affiliate links down below for the products I use in this video and all my other videos. And with that, let's get started. All right, so I did a video on how to troubleshoot your airbrush if it's not spraying. And I still got some feedback, a lot of people saying, Dan, I did everything you said to do and it's still not spraying correctly or it's still clogged, still get no paint. So if you've troubleshooted everything I said on that video, which I'll pop a card up above, you can go check that video out, and it's still not spraying right, or it's still not spraying paint at all, or you're getting bubbles in your cup. What I want you to do is push just the air down, and I want you to lean in and listen. I want you to feel it. Okay, now, once you do that, I want you to take off your air nozzle. And how I discovered this one time was, I have my air nozzle off and you hear the difference? So, it got me wondering, well, why am I getting really good pressure that way and the sound of it and the feel of it but i'm not when my air cap is on well there could only be one good reason and that's because there are in this particular cap this is an awada and this is an eclipse but basically i would assume most airbrush construction i don't know every single airbrush out there but the construction is basically the same there's three little air holes I'm not sure if it'll focus in on that, but there's three little air holes in that nozzle. So there's a tool that you can buy, and I got a couple of these now because some of the cleaning kits or things I order, um, this tool comes with it. It is a very, very sharp tool. And it is for exactly to clean out holes like this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hold that thing up to the light and see if you can see daylight in the holes. Now, I can only see daylight in one hole. Now, I clogged this up on purpose. Um, I put some paint in two of the holes just so you could hear the decrease in air pressure. So now, if all three of those holes were clogged up, that's where you would get paint backing up into your cup. All right, so once I held it up to the light and I discovered that it looks like I have some blockage in my holes. First thing I'm going to want to do, or I'm going to want to try, is I'm going to use a little bit of reducer. In my case, I'm just going to use a little 4012 here, because I use Createx paints. I'm going to get a little paintbrush. And start loosening up that paint. Now, with this pointer tool, and again, you guys can leave me a comment down below and tell me exactly what the name of this tool is. I just call it my little pointer tool. And I know there's a name for it. But I'm gonna stick that right in the hole because what happens with this tool is, again, you have a point on it 
but it's like a round dowel that is cut in half. So when this is inserted into the hole, it becomes, and you turn it, it becomes a scraper. So it goes into that hole, and you just want to give it a couple turns. So you got the paint activated with the reducer. It's going with a little bit more reducer. So you still some, see some paint on them holes in there. So on this particular airbrush, your air hole is right down here at the bottom. I'm just going to use that to blow this out. I like to clean with paper towels. I like to twist them up a little bit. A little black residue that came out of there. Hold it up to the light. Looking good, looking clean. I got three holes visible there. Snug everything back up. Now, if you do everything that I have on that other video, and you have your paint right where it will flow through, and you have air, I guarantee you have to get paint. Now listen. So you hear the difference. Now we got full power. So again, if you do everything that's on that other video and you make sure that those three holes are clear. So if you got paint flow and you got airflow, you have to have paint flow. All right, well, there you have it. Hopefully this video gives you some help. I know it's very frustrating when your airbrush isn't spraying well or it's not spraying right. So go through the troubleshooting video. If that doesn't help you out, give this a look. Hopefully you find it helpful. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get future notifications. Thumbs up would be great. Some comments, good or bad, really helps out with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out my Amazon affiliate links down below for all the products I use in this video and all my other videos. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.